Hey everybody, Economic Ninja here. I hope you're doing great. Boy, do we have a story for you. We're gonna talk about real estate and how it is going to come smashing down if things keep going the same. So, as of this morning, the 30 year fixed, the average rates hit four and a quarter percent. Now, I gotta be honest with you, there are a lot of people out there that think that real estate is gonna go up and go up forever. And there are so many of those people that have never been through a real estate correction. They started investing in real estate in 2010, 2011. They have never seen anything but gains. But guess what? There are a handful of us that were investors in two different real estate cycles. And I'm telling you right now, you haven't seen anything yet. And this is just because of fear. Now the 10 year bond is uh, moving upwards pretty sharply ever since the first week of January of 2022. And even though it doesn't directly correlate, it, there is the, some, some function of that, that that causes rates to rise. And remember guys, the Fed has still not officially raised the Fed funds rate. And many people would say, Ninja, this is priced in. I'm gonna tell you right now, it is not. And I'm telling you, I've been telling you guys this when I called the top of the market in G July last year, and I am still standing by that because we saw a massive increase in inventory. Yes, it got eaten up, but trust me, <laughs> Uh, a collapse has nothing to do with price, okay? A collapse has something to do with sentiment. And that's what people need to understand. So, as of today, the 30-year fixed, four and a quarter percent. Boy, Mrs. Ninja's gonna have a surprise. We go look at a piece of property tomorrow, and she wants to go get a loan on it. <laughs> she was quoted three and a half percent about three weeks ago. Not even three weeks ago. Yeah, maybe three weeks ago. Okay, so I'm gonna go over a couple little stats here. And this is happening so fast. And honestly, guys, this could change tomorrow. This all could collapse, right? But the facts are, people are going to literally refis will stop in the next 30 days you when the next year month's numbers come out for this month you're gonna see the numbers they are gonna be pretty shocking and a lot of people will be completely priced out of the market okay um, to give you an idea of the the magnitude of that's about a 38 percent increase in the, the the cost of interest for the average homeowner uh, as opposed to 15 months ago okay so literally 15 months ago I got one mortgage at what 2.95 percent for a 30-year fixed and now it's at four and a quarter okay and I know FHA is a little bit less uh, VA loans are around 4.1 percent right now so there was a story yesterday uh, out of CNBC about the mortgage industry and it says you know about homeowner demand it's it's waning right it says the average contract interest rate for a 30-year fixed rate mortgage with conforming loan balances um, was at like 3.83%, right? That had increased from 3.78, so not much, right? But obviously today it's a whole different story. Mortgage applications to purchase a home dropped 10% last week, 10% compared to the previous week and were 12% lower year over year, okay? So the year over year number is very impressive, okay? 12% lower year over year. And the 10%, you know, week over week makes sense because of the rising interest rates. Then this is a good one. Applications to refinance a home fell 7% for the week and were 52% lower than the same week one year ago. Guys, it's obvious because rates are going up. See, people don't understand that when rates go up, and, and I'm telling you, the, the rate rise uh, uh, environment we had from 2003, about mid-2003 to 2005, was amazing because it was so easy for me to figure it out. Now, it did take some time. I was I really didn't get, get it until early 2005, like, oh, we've got issues, right? And of course, we had mortgage-backed security debacle and all that stuff. But you know what's funny about today? I talk to people that lost their home all the time back then, uh, friends and family, and they all said the exact same thing. Oh, yeah, we knew something was wrong. No, they didn't. And I tell them all the time, no, you had no clue. You actually had no clue. Hindsight's 2020, but when I was running around telling you guys the market was crashing, nobody did anything, and that is a sign that you had no clue. If people really knew that the market was collapsing, they would stop and go, hmm. And it's so funny, people justify this all the time. The average home buyer is getting priced out of the market because the, the home prices are going up because of a panic, a blow off top, uh, a tulip mania at this point, right? And then you now couple that with rising interest rates, but what's even worse than any other cycle that I've ever studied in the last uh, 60 years, 60, 70 years, we now are compiling that with higher inflation, much higher. And I'm telling you, I know you guys can tell from the grin on my face, this is what we've been getting ready for. This is what you wait for. Now, I know there's gonna be some people in the comment section that are like, Ninja, aren't you buying a new property? I'm like, well, that's, that's actually farm 
property. It's totally different. I'm going to do a video on turning a uh, liability into an asset. If you want to see that and you aren't subscribed, hit the subscribe button. I'm probably going to come out with it in a week. And that's totally different, okay? Because that's that's tax taxes, making revenue, all kinds of different stuff. We're just talking about normal homes. And I'm telling you right now, there is a bunch of people, especially millennials, that have made a million bucks, two million, even five million bucks, that are about to get like a whipsaw effect. It's going to be pretty gnarly. Um, now, it's not going to happen overnight. Nothing happens overnight. To me, it does. I mean, I literally last night woke up at uh, midnight and looked at my phone and noticed 30-year it hit 30-year mortgages were at 4%. I'm like, oh my gosh, I got to do a video. As I'm coming out this morning with my coffee to have coffee with you guys, it's at four and a quarter. I'm like, oh, things are going to get exciting. So it doesn't mean it's going to stay up. But if it does, I'm telling you, massive, massive pressure is going to be put on refinances, new home buyers, and even, I know it sounds crazy, even the big institutions. All right, guys, that being said, I thank you so much. The Economic Ninja is out.